could this new credit card, Revamp, from American Express be the best card yet we've seen for gas, grocery, and even potentially an Apple card killer? <gasps> well, that's what you're gonna find out in today's video. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion of the good, the slightly less good, and my recommendations on how you can optimally use credit cards to try to mitigate and fight off some of the crazy high prices of gas and grocery that we've been seeing the past couple of months. Hey folks, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, my name's John of John's Finance Tips on TikTok and Instagram. So I have to say, I've been in the credit card space for coming up on 10 years now. I've seen a lot of cards. I've seen a lot of new cards get launched. I've seen a lot of old cards get refreshed. In the general theme though that I see with cards that are getting a refresh, it's usually to pull away features. I'm looking at you, City Prestige. And so when I heard about the American Express everyday card getting a refresh, I thought, oh boy, here we go. They're somehow gonna make it worse. Because after all, it's older brother, the American Express Blue Cash Preferred, is already a phenomenal card. Why would American Express try to cannibalize that audience? Well, I was pleasantly surprised. I was actually very, very surprised because this card is better like a lot better. So in today's video, I'm giving you a breakdown of why it is that much better. However, if you can't make it to the very end, at the very least, please help me tap that little thumb icon to spread the good word. And here is the TLDR, you should get it. That's it. Now for everyone else, let's go ahead and dive into it. Three quick housekeeping tips. One, the American Express Everyday Card is a credit card, not a charge card. If you carry a balance, you will be assessed at interest. However, you follow me and you know we never carry a balance. We pay on time and in full to build a strong credit score. Second thing to keep in mind, you can only have a maximum of four credit cards from American Express at one time. Three, this card earns you cash back, not points. It's very important to keep in mind, you will not earn membership reward points for this card. Hey guys, so I'm looking over the footage I shot now and I realize I kind of missed the whole point of why point number three matters, aka why the Amex Blue Cash every day earns cash back instead of points. The reason that's important is because in the points and miles game, points for travel give you incredible outsized value. So American Express has their membership reward points. Cards like the American Express Platinum and the American Express Gold, even the Everyday, which is their no annual fee card, earns membership reward points. You can do a lot of things with those membership reward points. One of them is taking those membership reward points and transferring them to a flight partner. For example, I can take my Amex membership reward points, transfer them to All Night on Airways. For about 110,000 points or so, I can book an around the world ticket in business class, which is the same equivalent might cost me, I don't know, let's say it's about seven or eight legs, 50, 60, $70,000, which on a point to cash, perspective, that would mean about maybe seven or 800,000 points if I were to use those points to just pay for it versus transferring to a flight partner. I want to make that distinction that the Amex Blue Cash is going to be giving you cash back, not those points. But if you're someone who's not particularly interested in travel, that you want to squeeze maximum value out of your travel points, then it doesn't really matter. However, if that's something that matters, you might want to consider taking a look at the Everyday or the Everyday Preferred. I personally don't love them because their earnings are kind of just like, Man, but for being able to earn points with no annual fee, that could be an option as well. Sign up bonus. The American Express Everyday Card will earn a sign up bonus of $200 after spending $2,000 in the first six months. Now, this isn't the highest sign up bonus ever, and it's a kind of a high spend, but I do like the fact that it gives you at least six months to earn it. I would say for me, this is three out of five JFTs. Earnings. And this is where I think this card is absolutely blowing it out of the water. This card will earn a 3% cash back for gas, groceries, as well as online shopping. Now, there is a limit of $6,000 per year per category, roughly about $500 a month, but that is still a really high limit in my opinion. Remember earlier I said this is a potential Apple Car killer? Well, it competes directly with the Apple Card with the 3% cash back on online shopping. Online shopping, what it mean? Apple.com. And what makes this card better than the Apple card is the fact that there is a sign-up bonus. The 3% for gas and grocery is awesome because I personally don't think that is combined anywhere else out on the marketplace. I think the Bank of America customized cash card combines a 3% for a category as well as a 2% for grocery, but I don't think anyone else has a 3% for gas and grocery. And this card will earn 1% cash back on all other purchases. So because of such a crazy earning capacity, this card for the earnings category earns five out of five JFTs. 
benefits. Now I'm gonna be the first one to say it. I think it's absolutely insane that a card of this caliber in this category, meaning the beginner entry level category, has statement credits. You usually see these in cards with an annual fee. So there are two credits to be mindful of. The first one I think is incredible. You will get a $7 credit if you use your blue cash every day to pay for a Disney Plus subscription slash bundle that is at least $13.99 a month. I know it's a little bit confusing, but what that basically means is a Disney Plus bundle right now is $13.99. If you swipe your American Express Everyday card to pay for it, Amex will actually reimburse you $7, aka a 50% discount for a Disney Plus bundle. I think that's awesome. The other credit you're gonna get is a $180 annual credit to Home Chef subscription meal delivery kit service. This comes to $15 a month. I don't think this one is as valuable as the Disney credit because I don't know a lot of people who use Home Chef. However, if you're curious to try a Home Chef meal prep delivery kit, this is your opportunity to get at least a $15 monthly discount. So even though that it's incredible that a card of this caliber has these credits, I do kind of ding in a little bit for the Home Chef credit just because I don't think everyone's gonna be able to extract value out of that. And so for the benefits category, I'm gonna rate this card a four out of five JFTs. Final category, annual fee. This card comes in at an annual fee of $0 a year. Now, if you are also a Disney Plus subscriber and you're gonna use that benefit, this card actually pays you $84. <sighs> Think about that. 3% gas grocery online shopping and you get paid $84 for it? That is absolutely insane. So now going to my overall recommendation for the card, if we tally up all the JFTs, 17 out of 20, not quite as high, largely due to the sign-up bonus. However, this is an absolute recommendation for me any given day. Why? Because there's no annual fee and it earns 3% on gas and grocery combined in one card. You don't see that out on the marketplace. Not to mention, it's a potential Apple card beater with the 3% on online shopping. So this card, net of it is, it's a go for me. If you don't wanna think about it, if you spend money on gas and grocery, which who doesn't, this is such an easy one. You keep it in your wallet, you swipe, you move on. However, if you really want to optimize for some of those categories, consider pairing this with a City Custom Cash. City Custom Cash is 5% cash back on your highest spend category. Let's say that category is gas. Then you pair it with this one on grocery, you get pretty creative and you're able to really better optimize for one of those higher spend categories. In addition, if you're looking for an upgraded pick, I love the Blue Cash Preferred, which is kind of the quote unquote older brother of this card. Now that card has no annual fee in the first year because it's waived, but it does come with a $95 annual fee in the second year. So you want, want to be cognizant of that. And then as far as this card being an Apple Card killer, like I said, there's a sign up bonus, Apple Card doesn't have it. 3% online matches 3% at Apple. What it does fall short on is it doesn't have the 2% where you use the Apple Pay or Apple Watch to pay with your Apple Card, but it does have the 1% for everything else. And so to really optimize this as an Apple Card killer, pair this with a 2% cashback card like a Wells Fargo Active Cash or a City Double Cash, and boom, there you have it. And the reason that I'm just ooh about the Apple Card is the fact that I just don't think it's a great card. So folks, I appreciate everyone sticking around on this video. And of course, if you're interested in any of the cards I talk about today, they're all going to be linked down below. If you have comments or questions or suggestions on cards you wanna hear about, let me know and I will catch y'all next time. Peace.